when I first got diagnosed with stage four done like terminal. Yeah. Two years to live. People are telling you to do these diets, but I'm always asking like, what are you measuring? High protein, high fat. Yeah. That's a good ketosis meal. The problem is there are no guaranteed results without effort. But it's self-discipline that, that brings us out of the diagnosis. So Owen, when did you start the ketogenic diet for your cancer diagnosis? You know, um, really, I, I started it right away, even though I didn't really know it, mm -hmm. you know, because when I when I first got diagnosed with stage four done like terminal. Yeah. Two years to live. But this was my second diagnosis, mm -hmm. right? I was diagnosed first in 2015, mm -hmm. went through all the, the standard of care protocols. And, and then it came back. And when it came back, it was, it was stage four terminal. So when that happened, I, um, you know, I didn't eat for days. I mean, it was, I couldn't eat. I was just so, and, and what that had done obviously was fasting was, was put my body into this state of autophagy, which later I found out would be my best friend in the journey to, to beat my cancer. Mm -hmm. But to answer that, cause I think what you're really asking is like, okay, but when did you consciously mm -hmm. yeah. um, begin? It was really close to the beginning, right? So I read a book very early on called Summary of a Metabolic Approach to Cancer. This is by Dr. Thomas Seyfried, who is just like a hero to me. Like some people, I've got Muhammad Ali on my wall over there. Over there, I have Dr. Thomas Seyfried. I posted her on my wall. <laughs> Um, and it's, uh, it's cool, but you know, he's one of my heroes and he wrote this book and he, he showed that in his studies and in all of these studies, uh, the ketogenic diet had been very effective in, um, shrinking tumors in bringing people to a healthier lifestyle. In fact, there's this quote that really got to me. It was like the people that he nursed through, um, his keto protocol mm. and it included more things. Yeah. But the people that he studied and worked under not only experienced great success against their disease, but also came out of it healthier and stronger. And that was exactly the case for, for me. Like as I began to adopt the keto lifestyle and I did a plant-based keto, I began to feel better immediately. And that's actually when I started my channel and all the, the, the YouTube stuff It's like, I feel good enough to like, tell people, Hey, you should do this. Yeah. And I remember when you were sort of doing all the self-experimentation and research and really diving into doing your own N of one, which I think is very valuable. One of my sort of natural questions after why is sort of how, because I think a lot of people, at least in my experience, having spoken to people with autoimmune diseases that also use ketogenic diets yeah. to help it for that, like myself, yeah. is they think they're doing ketosis. Yeah. So let's separate what ketosis is from ketogenic diet yeah that's what really yeah but also how do you know you're even there and i think it's good to mention here that this is not intended to be medical advice no. for you um or, or for anybody um watching but to share a story um a very real story that um of my experience <laughs> and what has been the experience of so many others that i've walked through this journey with and so you know if you're going through um a cancer journey we want you to to seek the the help of a medical professional to, to walk through this with you and and we've put a list of some professionals that we we think you should follow in the description box so um you know to go to your question about keto uh, keto is a metabolic process that can be measured in your body and in your blood, yes. right? So the, the keto diet measures, you know, two things. Number one, it's the amount of ketones in your blood. Mm -hmm. Okay. So when, when your body has no sugar, it lost that energy source to burn for yeah. energy. So your body will start to burn. You know what it is? Ketones. We'll start to burn those fat, ketones, yeah. right? Fat, right? And that comes from fat. So your body will then start to eat the fat, which produces a ketone in your blood. And the higher those ketones are and the lower your blood glu glucose, you're going to get a GKI. Right. GKI is like gross ketone index. Okay. And this is all very technical. Okay. I want to get to like at the lifestyle part yeah. of it. Because, yeah. But when you say I'm doing a keto diet, okay. What you're talking about is I am putting my body into this place where there there is um, a very low amount of glucose in my body, 
and a high amount of ketones in my body, which creates um, a slower burning, more natural energy, um, which improves, increases autophagy yeah. in your body and, and makes you feel like a million bucks. Right. Oh, yeah. So you can, uh, you can test that all with a, with a GKI, right? So like a blood test, right? You prick your finger and you, you know, you, it will, you put it in the machine and the machine tells you what your GKI is. I use that device all through the cancer. I didn't do it every day. Yeah. I was like I would test kind of like it at varied times to make sure that my lifestyle, like my test matched my lifestyle. I lived a ketogenic diet lifestyle and then I would test myself periodically to make sure I was at that GKI level, which was like a zero to, to three, you know, is like a, what they call therapeutic ketosis, yeah. right? This is where you're actually um, making gains against your disease. Yeah. Whatever autoimmune or, or in my case, it was um, stage four cancer. And like what you were alluding to before is this idea of, I mean, everyone says right ways and wrong ways to do keto diets right. and you mentioned being on a plant-based ketogenic diet which varies from probably the stereotypical more akin atkins model that people yeah. from the 90s and 80s would probably relate to hearing you know a lot of meat i forgot about fat. that term yeah yeah atkin diets like bacon and eggs right yeah, it was basically it was basically a high protein uh maybe you were in ketosis potentially diet depends on your threshold and metabolic health yeah but you mentioned plant-based keto and i think that has its own challenges yeah because you're like well well what plants have fat you don't oh, think of fat so plants. confusing you know it is so confusing so i read I, I read so many books um uh the summary of a metabolic approach to cancer mm -hmm. uh, talked about keto and made clear to me the gki process right okay. Cause I'm a big like empirical guy, right? Let's like, I want to, I'm a marketer, you know, right? And I data. work together data. Yeah. It's like, it, 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 you know, when you look at the numbers, the numbers are bad. You want to make the numbers good. Right. So yeah. it's like, how do we do that? What do we, so it's like, people are telling you to do these diets, but I'm always asking like, what are you measuring? What are you measuring? Yeah. Right. And, and so that was a really good part of that. Then I read keto for cancer by Dr. Miriam Kalamian. And that was a great book. Because it was a more practical sign mm -hmm. of how to do it. Now, in that book, it was like, you know, a meat, like a meat and animal product based keto. Right. Okay. So ketosis is really, it's the um, the self-mastery of no sugar, man. It is, 100%. Right? Yeah. And I mean, this is one question I think anyone's going to have out there because I think it's it's all well and good to say like, you know, try ketosis, like get yeah, GGI diet, all that stuff. Yeah. But- how do you, a lot of people are coming from a paradigm of they haven't been in ketosis since they were an infant and oh, they actually over there. Yeah. How do you, because it is a battle of will in the beginning. There's yeah. no way around it. You I really agree. yourself in. Yeah. And you go through what's called the keto flu. Yeah. Right. So you go through this process where your body, you're a sugar burner. That's what we used to call them. Like sugar burners. Yeah. It's like, ah, oh, you guys are sugar burners. You know, it's like, yeah. you know, uh, you got, you got these sugar burners drinking, you know, it's like Diet Cokes and carb carbohydrates and, and fruit even, right? Like all of these things, um, create a, a, a glucose, a, a fruit, like a sugar in your, in your bloodstream. Um, while you're in that place, you cannot be in ketosis. So as you're, you go from being a sugar burner to a fat burner, there's this like transition where your, your body is adjusting and you might even feel flu like symptoms. Like that's, yeah, I actually, yeah, I felt it a couple of times cause you go in and out and it was like, man, like I'm doing it. It was a, it was like a success, kind of like the pain of a marathon. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like it hurts, but it's like, this is a good, it's a good thing that I'm, I'm, I'm kind of hurting here. So, um, you go into that, that phase, um, and then you've got to keep the sugar out. Yeah. You know, all of it. Then you need to eat foods that don't have sugars or are on the low glycemic index. Yep. Okay. Low glycemic. It's, like, it's not going to be a lot of fruit. I mean, if any, maybe berries on a good day. If yeah. Uh, like you, I want, I'm going to have a slice of green apple. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, um, but I did eat blueberries, blackberries, um, a lot and, and even got to a place where I blend them with ice and have like a, <laughs> um, so it's, it's increasing the amount of foods with no sugar. So like meat, dairy, eggs, no sugar, high protein, high fat. Yeah. That's a good ketosis meal. The problem is that for many uh, people with a diagnosis, whether it's stage one or stage four, yeah. 
Um, meat also includes, has like IGF-1. Yep, IGF-1. Uh, which is insulin growth hormone factor, right? And and it makes things grow. Yeah. You have tumors. It can make, IGF can, has been shown yeah. to make tumors grow. And then similarly, uh, meat is going to have like, if it's not clean, if it's antibiotic mm-hmm. filled kind of stuff, you know, it's got like a lot of stuff. Those chemicals are just going to increase your toxic burden in, in your body. And so when you know, when I got diagnosed, the first thing I did is first thing I always do is I find the winners. Mm-hmm. And, and when people like, I find the people that beat cancer and it's like, do what they did. Mm. And these, the people in my cancer that did that, that are beating it did keto vegan diets. So I did a keto diet with a vegan component, which plant-based component to it. Mm-hmm. Um, which, so it's like there, I couldn't eat the meat. I couldn't eat the ants, couldn't eat the cheese. Um, there was a limited, like almost no fruit. I mean, I was eating low glycemic vegetables day in, day out. And in the beginning, it it was hard. I'm hungry. I'm burning all of this mental energy trying to think about what, what I'm supposed to eat. And I think that's the day my wife and I and I really decided like we, we were flying blind. At that point, like yeah. we didn't know what we were doing. We were, we were solving ourselves. That's when we were like, we need help. We need to go look. And what we found, we found a world of experts oh, yeah. out there that had done this meal plans and that that changed everything for us. We wouldn't have to figure this stuff out 200 years ago when we couldn't DoorDash all our meals yeah. and all of it was filled with grains and, you know, glyphosate. Okay. And, and, and people don't even, I think most people aren't even aware that that a, a, a carbohydrate, a, a bun, a bread, a chip, a cracker is going to turn into sugar in your body. Yeah. And and there's this sort of like, um, there's this big educational curve <laughs> that happens. And I would say like the number one thing that I, that, that I think really challenges me in the cancer community is, is when you, you get a cancer patient who says that's too hard. Yeah. You know, and I, I get that a lot. It's like, well, you know, I get it from young people too. People younger than me that are like, Hey, I, you know, Owen, I just think that, it's just quicker and faster if I do it, you know, the standard way. And it's like, man, you're, you're asking for a world of pain over there. It's uh, whereas the, the keto diet and switching your diet, there's like this, this transition of discomfort when you throw away all the garbage that's in your, you know, we have a remove and replace kind of law. Like if mm-hmm. you get sick, it's like remove all this stuff from your house, replace it with these good things. Once you remove, go to that painful process, it's really, you just eat what's in the cabinet. Yeah. You know, and like you just yeah. don't have any bad food in the cabinet. But the problem is people want a guaranteed result if they're yeah. going to put an investment in it. But what they don't realize is that there are no guaranteed results without effort. And everyone, because of convenience culture, has this instant gratification reward with 90% of what they do every day. Yeah. And I don't think they realize how many of their thoughts evolve around food or revolve around food until they start to address it. And when, look, you want to throw your body into ketosis fast, do, do a fast, right? If you want to, if you want to get into ketosis, into a plate, because when you're in ketosis, your body is actually um, eating away at um, bad cells. Mm-hmm. Disease cells. And that disease cells. And that even means those cells that are turning into masses. Mm-hmm. It eats away at those. So your goal is to be in therapeutic ketosis as often as possible. And if you're eating, I I ate, I ate less than 1,200 calories a day. And those calories were spinach, artichokes, avocados, um, limited amount of macadamia nuts. You know, I, I had, jeez, uh, lots and lots of salads, um, big old plates of broccoli. If, if it was a vegetable that I could eat, I, I would eat it. In fact, I, I made a guide of the majority of the foods that we ate. It's called the Keto Vegan mm-hmm. Guide. You guys should download that. It's in the description box. It's free. And, it, you know, it'll give you a shopping list and, and some of the things that we ate. The, the keto diet is not about this um, diverse uh, sort of... Eat the rainbow. Yeah, diet, right? It's it's really it's about like, hey, here's some things that you like. Like I, there's a list that you can you can Google anywhere a list of keto keto approved foods. Th- there's going to be a limited amount that you like. So what I did is I found foods that I liked. I ate those foods until I didn't like them anymore, 
and I gave I, I did periodic glucose meter checks and it's like I'm in ketosis eating this diet. So as long as I'm in therapeutic ketosis, my body is is fighting my disease and I felt great. I didn't feel weak. Mm -hmm. I actually felt like clean. Yeah. I felt pure, right? And I got into the sauna and I sweated it out and I drank water all the time and I did all the hard things and I, I gave up the foods, you know, and I went out to dinner with my family and I ate nothing. I would eat like, we went to this burger place. They have unlimited fries. They also have unlimited broccoli. And it's like, give me the broccoli. Give me as much broccoli. as like, ma'am, you're going to need to bring two of those broccolis next. Yeah. Time. And and that's what I did. And and that's the reward. It's like convenience culture brings us into the diagnosis. Yeah. Um, but it's self-discipline that that brings us out um, of the diagnosis. Oh, and I couldn't have said it better myself. Are there any questions that you guys have that we didn't maybe cover in this video? And uh, I want to let you take us out. We didn't cover anything. Ask in the comment section below. And thank you guys for being here. I, you know, we want to do this more. Uh, we hope that you will will join us. And, and especially if you're on a journey um, check out our support group. Our support group is go.bcancerwithme.com. You can click that in the description box. A lot of good stuff down there. And we've got tons more videos on the different therapies and what worked for me in my journey out of stage four cancer. We'll see you there.